Um, men, women, boys, girls, cats, dogs, fish, blocks of cheese sitting in the sun for five days. The existential dread of my left nut. Anyways, sorry man, I'm trying to eat free sweet fish. Welcome to Bloodwork Part 6. As you can see from the title, this is the end. Oh. One of the endings, but I won't give away what it is until after the video is over with. So, anyways, after some uh, rearranging in my brain, I figured I'd do the intro. And um, yeah, I don't have much to say, really, since you're just enjoying me eat Swedish fish. Other than look at the new background we have, which is cool. Um, yeah. Let's get right into this bitch. Get this over with. Hit smart voice. Okay. That one's over. What? Hey. You're spoiling yourself here, go. Sorry, that was the Viber. He was watching too much. He's gonna watch the game himself. Or he's gonna play it himself, so I didn't want to spoil it for him. Street a little bit. All right, what, what do we got? Last session with patient, he is leaving Burkittsville. In his own words, he feels he is able to move on. I am glad about this, less glad about the how. He'll be enlisting in the military service as his father, a cult, convinced him to join. Worried about what effect this environment will have on a sensitive psyche. Is a sense of psyche. The stress and trauma of active duty might completely displace his childhood trauma with the woods. The same trauma that he already seems to have forgotten, however. I'm afraid the woods will never leave him. No matter what occurs, it will remain beneath the formative experience that made him who he is today. What? My psychiatric reports. What the hell happened, to Alice, in the woods? It's locked. There's got to be a key somewhere. Okay, so I know the baseball was telling me to go upstairs. I'm just looking around. Oh man. Okay. Smokey can't help me here, and neither can good old Bessie. We've got to do this on our own. Ain't that right, Alice? We can do this, no? It's gonna be okay. What a way to start back on YouTube, huh? Freaking. Hey, I don't know. Let's play Blair Witch! There's a dog! It's a horror game! What's gonna happen? Jesus. So glad I could bring my emotional torment into the channel. My lord. Is it the key to unlock, bullet? Can I unlock? 
my bullet again? That would be very nice. I really want to know if I killed him or not. They're, 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 they're screwing with me right now. Okay, you can't go up there, obviously. Well, not obviously, but there's a bunch of branches and stuff, so... I would not expect that at all. Okay. Alright. Where... Where do we go? Oh, right. Basement. I, I'm dumb. Okay. I'm coming, Peter! You made me... I'm gonna murder you myself! You made me lose my dog! Were you really worth it? What the... How, how did I end up back here? Pardon? Great. I'm so glad we can go through this again. Locked. Oh, wonderful. Ah! 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 Jesus fucking Christ! Holy shit! The light just made it angry. What in God's green earth is that? Sandy, your cousins aren't doing good! It's not, oh wait, it's a freaking hole. I thought it was like an E or an F or something. God, Lord. Good Lord. First, you freaking make me cry. Then, you hit me with a huge jump scare that scares the ever living fuck out of me. Why do you do this? What is this? I don't, I don't know exactly what to do with the battery. Bat, bat, battery, batari, bura, 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 bat, battery, battery. Okay, maybe I need a battery later down the line. Oh, right. Gonna need that. Scared the bejesus out of me. It's even more horrifying. Oh, there's, there's that. So, I guess this way. I guess. <sighs> Why was there a sigh? Uh, do I have to find something first? I really do not like this. I do not like this. That is not a good use of chairs! I am sorry, half this video has just been me. Either silently horrified, or... Or, or, or just crying, but oh lord, this has been an emotional roller coaster and a half. So... My brain is just fried, bro. Oh my lord. God. What are you gonna do? Why are you gonna pull the dog on me, okay? Not cool, man. <laughs> hey, Peter. Peter.
Here. Making an art piece. I'm so proud of you. I don't want to get hit with a chandelier. With a chandelier. I'm. Hey there. You must be Ellis. Not sure of landing you, but you can call me Evan. Power gives you a chance to hold life in your palm. You touch the twigs and you run your fingers through their bows. You press them down, you break their spines, she washes you. Once you pick them up, she won't let you put them down, and her whispers become sweeter every time you clench your fist. I don't think I did a good. Door. Door. Okay. I love the renovations you've done with the place. It takes some getting used to, but it can be done. This is a cool sequence. What? I'm gonna get killed here. That's done. It's done. No point dwelling on the past. Oh, God. This is your chance to do something good, Ellis. Don't waste it. Landing! I've done nothing good so far! to me it's just too much I can't take it anymore I won't let you drag me down with you there's no signal how are you sending these to me is that my wallet I don't love you anymore. Okay. That's okay, Jess. I don't need I don't need anybody in my I'm going to die. This is ending in horrible agony. Again, another freaking house. Slender the rival. Freaking another Broken down, decrepit house that I end up in, where I get murdered! What is hap- So how many years has it been? Four. What? Oh, you're in a charming mood today. Ah, uh, the light. Can anyone hear me? 
turn on the lights. What? The headlights. Turn them on. What is happening? Good man, Ellis. Why does it always do that? How do you imagine your future? Don't look. If you look, you're dead. I can't wait. No? Okay. Right. Oh. No, no, sir. Got a robbery in progress, a convenience store near Burkittsville. These kids again? Yeah, probably. This is horrifying!
shit. Off the record, Ellis. What the hell happened? You shot a dude. A local teenager allegedly involved in a convenience store robbery was shot by a police officer arriving at the scene. The suspect was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. Local authorities confirm that the suspect was unarmed. 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 Alice. What have you done, big guy? What did you do? Oh, Christ. I'm to blame for that. where it all started, is it? What? Oh. I've seen this room before. What do you mean you've seen this room before? Huh? Oh, here comes our handsome lad. Hey, is it true you shot your pretty face off in basic training? You know, what kind of girl would want you now? Hey, shh. He's coming. What the fuck? <sighs> Not him again. Sir? Sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Freaking butcher. Ah! Sir. 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 Fuck. What? God's name? Holy shit! So we out! Alan Potter. That's Fox Show 1. Entering the urban area. All right. All right. Potter, this is Fox Shot 1. We confirmed enemy soldiers at 2 o'clock. They are unaware of our presence. Out. Oliver Park. What? Oh, are these the guys that he got? I hear it. I hear it. Is it there? Is it here? Is it somewhere? I gotta crush it. Do it. Oh. What did I just 
this do? I can't tell one god's name is happening here. It's a repeat, but it's showing his life. But then he repeated what Carver said. And what did I just do there with the handle? What the hell? <laughs> Seems familiar somehow. How do you say that with such call, Mellis? Is it? Oh. Okay. I'm smart. Is here your shadow? Sorry, I read that fast, but I'm just, I'm so, this is just so mind boggling. Hi! Don't, 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 don't look, don't look. Sorry. Sorry. I understand you got a blind thing. Calm down from what? You've literally had your entire life spat out in front of you. There is nothing to calm down from, Ellis. You've lost your dog. You've been horrified. I got scared by a Bible gaming. I'm not linking your channel in the description, you jackass. I literally jumped like a girl. I literally... I don't... My love. Shut up! <laughs> just let me out of this hellhole. Just... He's been through enough, man! Thing is, Sylvester voice. That thing is Carver. Roscoe Hayward. They're all dead because of me. It's not your fault, buddy. Carver's room? I'm trying. Okay. That's 
just fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. 10 out of 10. This is probably going to be either a really long video or cut into two parts again. God damn it. Good, great. You want to show me your artwork? a bed what is God, I mean I get it he's hi Get out of here, buddy. I'm not looking! You ain't gonna get me, Carver! Shut up. can't look at yourself in the mirror anymore, can you?
in the corner. Don't look at her. Do it right. It's a corner. I'll be safe there. Fuck. Why did I look? What is happening? I don't. Stanley Parable? All right, I guess I got two options here. Oh, I took a bad happy shoes today. I took the real bad. Alice, oh God. Ow, ow. Okay. 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 Is this everybody she's fucked with? Is this all the people she's... The, the witches messed with? Is that why they're all in the corner? Can I please just, I just, just make it end. Such filth. Oh, that man lived here. Maybe for years. Jump out the window. I don't think you're doing so hot, buddy. I'll kill you. Fucking Carver. You like that? Come on, for your 
butt cheeks, sir. Punch him hard! Is this, am I actually doing that? Is this death? Incarnate? This is probably what hell looks like. My best guess. What the hell just happened? What was that? What was that? This is it. The basement. I'm finally Finally here! Peter! Peter. Peter, where are you? Fuck. He's not here. Steph, honestly, I would not be surprised. All right, I think, I think down here, I'm just, I was beyond words there. Like, Lord, help me. beyond words, okay? I don't...
No, 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 please, 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 please. God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Shush, shush. No, 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 I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Shush, 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 shush. Despite his injuries, Bolt survived. He was later found wandering outside of Shannon's house. Jess was determined to patch things up with Ellis, but he ignored her efforts, spending more and more time in the woods. Peter's fate remains unknown. No clue to its whereabouts, Sheriff Lenning's body was never recovered from the Black Hills Forest. Todd McKinnon's body was found months later in the Tappy East Creek sawmill, so rotten it was nearly beyond identification.
you guys at Bloober are freaking nuts, okay? Awesome, but completely batshit bonkers, okay? My god, okay. Jesus, all right. Well, I'm gonna do an outro later. Um, after I wrap my head around what the fuck just happened. Now that I understand at least, literally, no words. I didn't know what to say. I had no idea what to say. There was, there was too much emotions in my head. So you become Carver. And this continues until the next person comes. Okay, I'm gonna let my brain rest and wrap my head around what just happened. And I'm gonna go beat for Viper Gaming for scaring the shit out of me. Dear Lord! Oh God, for anyone watching, I apologize about my quietness. We're gonna do about the good ending. That's next up on the list because I need to know what happens. I need to know. I'm so glad that bullet survived. I'm so glad I did the right thing. But I need to know what happens at the good ending. And I, I just gotta figure out how to do it. So, yeah, okay. Wow. All right. I, I'll, I'll troll later. All right, so, now that I've had some time to compose myself, after the ending, I will get my thoughts. That game was horrifying. It was a very slow burn. There were some great moments. I think the psycho psychology behind it was good. I need to watch the Blair Witch movie. Blair Witch Project movie. The original. Oh, fucking Swedish fish. Um, because apparently a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't stick with the source material. A lot. And there's a lot of things I missed. But, nonetheless... I found a video that explains all of the um, fear of forgetting critters things. Which I Carver written one of those, I think. And I also figured out the psychiatrist notes as well. So we can get a little explanation of what the fuck just happened and my own thoughts on it as well. And maybe I'll have a better judgment and maybe I'll make like a, a lore video after I've watched the movies. To really try to truly understand, or after I played the second game, the other ending, not second game, but yeah. So let me read these off to you because I have a little video that basically has all of them ready to go. So let's see, move this over here. Okay, Theodore McKinnon, my father. This is the first one. Theodore McKinnon, my father, was a lumberjack. When I was a child, he would often take me to the sawmill and the black. Hills Forest to tell me stories of the monsters and witches who lived there. I returned to that place after almost 40 years. It looked exactly how I remembered it, except for its haunting emptiness. No one was telling the stories of fearsome critters anymore. There was not a hum single soul to pass the legends on. The Lawton Company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. Let me turn on that. Alright. The Lawton Company disbanded and the old sawmill was left to rot. But I could not simply let it be forgotten. Not before it revealed its secrets to me. Not before I learned what drove my father to take his own life. I never believed the stories my old man used to tell me about the monsters lurking in the darkness, about which so terrifying that one look at her was enough to make you lose your mind. I doubt if he even believed them himself. Everyone knew that they could not be true, and yet I'm, the longer I'm in this forest, the less certain I am. Something evil hides in these woods, something I can only see out of the corner of my eye, something that disappears as soon as I try to look at it, something I can hear, but that goes silent whenever I try to follow it. Sometimes I can feel its breath on the back of my neck, Sometimes I hope it's one of the monsters of old because the tales promise that the death in their claws is swift. Is this madness? Was it madness that loved the lumberjacks and create all these all those stories? Or was it more than that? Before Burkittsville there was Blair, and before the Blair Witch there was Ellie Kedward. In February 1785, an Irish woman named Ellie Kedward was accused by a group of children of luring them into her hut where she would draw their blood for her sinister rituals. Was the accusation true? We will never know, but the people of Blair had no doubts. Kedward was found guilty. The punishment for witchcraft was severe. She was hanged on a tree, and to each of her limbs a heavy stone was tied. 
Under their weight, her body was stretched grotesquely. She died in agony. People of Blair thought they were safe. The following year, half of the town's children vanished without a trace. One of the first deaths blamed on the Blair Witch was that of the 10-year-old Eileen Triacle in 1825. It all happened during a wheat harvest picnic. Eileen was playing in the Taffy East Creek when, as witnesses claimed, a white, ghostly white hand reached out of the water and dragged the girl down. Despite the fact that the creek was shallow enough for a child to crawl on its bed, Triacle's body was never found. The next day, the creek's waters ran with oily bundles of human-shaped sticks. I've always considered myself a reasonable man, but it was this reason in old nature that kept me blind. I didn't want to believe... I was ready to accept that I was losing my mind just to avoid facing the truth, but now I'm slowly beginning to see. The more time I spend in these woods, the clearer it all becomes. Just a few more days, just a few more days, and I'll finally hunt it down. I saw it. Not a witch or a monster, but a man. A man carrying the pelt of a skinned human. He saw me, and now he's coming. Carver. So, okay. Uh, I don't know if Todd McKinnon has anything to do with the rest of Blair Witch, but basically I think he was the guy that we watched get freaking obliterated in the sawmill. Um, and I think, I don't know if Carver just basically was, uh, um, just a name for a certain thing, and that's why Carver gave himself that, but, nonetheless, I'm gonna stop being this bitch, but Jesus Christ. So, my thought process was, Holy shit, that took a long time. My thought process was that basically what happened in the game was that every time you knocked out and came back to that same spot, the tent was more degraded and more destroyed than the last time. So, what was happening that was, was my guess, was you were going through time essentially. And that's why it kept getting more degraded. And that's why uh, Jesse said that um she tried to patch up things with Ellis but he spent more and more times in the more and more time in the woods. Um and also why he took Carver's face. Because what from what I've gathered from theories is basically what you're being tortured by is basically Car your future self. That's why I thought it sounded like Ellis when I said when I heard it the first time because it's the same voice actor I think because it's supposed to be you essentially slowly get after you got corrupted by the witch and the cycle just continually happens where the Ellis we know goes in there and gets tortured by him future his future self um and essentially uh gets uh, essentially keeps coming back um to this sort of uh uh here, let me let me uh, find the thing that best describes it because I okay. So this is what someone said on Reddit, and it makes a lot of sense. So I read, I didn't read all the psychiatrist notes as well, but basically what I just gathered was remember in my one of my episodes when I said it was Ellis, those psychiatry notes, that was the case. And that first video you see of those kids walking in when I clicked the game to start it, it was based supposedly Ellis and his friend as a kid walking into the forest. So. Here's what we got. Ellis and a friend were last lost in the woods and kid as kids and presumably had a horrifying experience. Ellis made it out somehow and was found by a truck driver wandering along the highway. The friend never made it out and I believe was never found. Ellis suffered PTSD as a result and would not talk about the incident for years. I assume that the very first video you see of two kids going into the woods when the game starts is of Ellis and his friend. One of the psych notes is a drawing of a frowning boy, a man with antlers, and a dog-like creature. Does this mean that young Ellis was also terrorized by Carver, his future self, and Bullet? So, maybe maybe Bullet actually, uh, or Bullet was found later, so we're, we're not, I'm not sure exactly what he means by being, being uh, terrorized by Bullet as well. Nonetheless, struggling to overcome his issues, Ellis joins the military on the advice of his military officer father, who is described as emotionally unavailable. He's not a very good soldier and manages to get his squad killed in an ambush and also kills a civilian woman when hiding from enemy troops in her apartment, assuming he killed her to prevent her from screaming and giving away his position. It is indicated that he had a dishonorable discharge. He goes home and at some point becomes involved with Jess. Their relationship suffers because of his many issues. Ellis becomes a police officer despite with, despite with his personal issues and military history because of the sheriff's taking pity on him, question mark. He proves to be a good poor deputy as well, shooting an unarmed kid in a convenience store robbery. 
He is given Bullet as a partner because the sheriff believes it will help with his PTSD. By the time the game begins, it is assumed that Ellis is either no longer a cop or he is on administrative leave from the convenience store shooting. He joins the search party partially out of guilt because the kid he shot is an older brother of the boy who has gone missing and also out of a desire for self-redemption. Throughout the course of the game, he slowly turns into Carver under the witch's influence. Just like Rustin Parr, he is weak. Rustin Parr is basically considered, um, if you look into the lore, is basically considered one of the people um, that one of the first people that was influenced by the witch and killed a bunch of kids, basically. It's, it's a lot of stuff, but I could probably, I'll, I'll get into that later once I've, once I've looked more into Blair Witch. He's weak and lets her influence him. He's stuck in a perpetual loop where he terrorizes his younger adult self and his childhood self, as well as at least two other children, the Shannon boy and the one other boy whose name I can't remember. I don't know who he's talking about with the other kids. Maybe that's part of the, the other ending. As you can see, they have forgotten the bad ending. So, um, the pictures found throughout the game in the final basement of the Par House suggest he has abducted, abducted and killed several people over the years. He's essentially the witch's familiar, someone who can leave the forest and bring back victims that would otherwise be outside of her reach, assuming her power is limited. Since *Time in the Woods* is fluid, he, as Carver, would have been stalking the characters from other Blair Witch movies as well, and be specifically responsible for the deaths of Heather, Josh, and Mike, which I think are other characters. Uh. So why is the witch obsessed with Ellis in particular? Is it because he was the one who got away when he escaped her as a child, or was it her plan all along to traumatize him but let him live, sowing the seed for him for a later for him to later grow into Carver? Fascinated with the whole time loop thing, as it becomes apparent that all of the places Ellis comes across are places that he has Carver spent time in: the rotting campsite, the sawmill, the par house. Months or years have seem to have passed every time he visits the campsite. Yet whenever he calls someone on the phone or radio, he appears to be present time. It's also interesting that during the uh, bad ending, Carver says he's free of the voices at last because the witch has Ellis now, but he's not really free because the cycle just starts over again. So it's like, it's as confusing as it is, basically, he has to, she, she continually brings in Ellis at some point to become Carver and continue the cycle to torture kids, I guess. And the time that you spend in the woods that seems like only a couple days or so actually turns out to be freaking years because of how much the the uh uh the tent gets degraded and stuff but if it's years then that was a long time for them to not search for the sheriff and i'm not gonna i'm just confused when he actually meets the sheriff and does what he does because in the house um you end up um in the house you end up seeing uh yourself stabbing the sheriff and then also, when you go to and that that other lever that I didn't understand at first was you pulling the sawmill to kill that to kill. I think his name was Todd, the one that made all the notes, and then saw Carver carrying a pelt, which was me. So it's like the witch almost brings you through time to get fucked by herself. And yeah, I I, I don't really understand too much of it. I I mean I do. It's an interesting concept, though. You're fucking getting getting tortured by yourself, and also all of your past. And so, like, because the psychiatrist mentioned the psychiatrist mentioned that Ellis is trying to ignore his problems by joining the military, which is just terrible. Um. So, uh, yeah, I, I as best as I can explain it, explain it, you torture yourself, and then while and then without even realizing it, abduct abduct children over the years. I think after you become Carver, but I don't understand about the cycle, like the cycle of you, of, of, of Carver killing you, or you killing Carver, and then, um, you killing Carver, that's what I meant to say, and, um, getting, uh, 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 continuing of, of the cycle, because wouldn't it just be a rep repetitive pattern of this happening without Carver killing a bunch of people? which is you, Ellis, uh, I don't really get it. So if you want to leave your thoughts um, down in the cut down below, I will be playing the good ending at some point and maybe that'll explain a bit more. Um, but for now, uh, uh, play the game yourself if you want to. Oh, it is a beautiful boy. Um, and yeah. I, I fucking love this game. It was great, and it's very confusing, and as I think about it more, maybe I'll figure out what the hell's going on. But for now, 
This is Sandy Biscuit signing off. Yeah.